what's going on guys welcome to today's vlog it is thursday the 27th is it is it the 27th what well we'll let the phone i'm right sarah's wrong thursday the 27th of june and it is an absolute scorcher outside today as you can see with the camera going out of um well the white balance just erupting it's an absolute scorcher and apparently on saturday it's supposed to get to record like 31 32 degrees in manchester so i'm probably thinking that this saturday we're gonna have a barbecue a barbecue stroke hot tub uh, party and some ignoranus oh. has just knocked on the door just quickly i forgot to tell dave that i think we're going to a barbecue on saturday but i forgot to mention it to him I've not even got dressed properly this morning. We're just rushing out now quickly because we've got to go and take Aurora to. <laughs> you heard the laughing. Why are you laughing at you, gorgeous? Hey. You ain't in a good mood today. You won't be in about five minutes when they stick a needle in you. No. <laughs> yeah, so we've just got a nip out, have our injections done, and wait for the to check her uh, the lump on her head and my rug has just arrived so we'll show you that in a bit also um yeah i forgot to tell you i think rebecca is having a barbecue on saturday all right are we going there so we were thinking of taking the hot tub i'm not going why i'm not taking that hot tub i am i bought it i'm taking it we bought it no, I bought it. no we bought it i bought this for you yeah <laughs> I can't wait to pull that rug down. Are you going on tonight? It's just so Aurora's got somewhere to play because obviously it's just to play. No, it'll be getting rolled up at night so Eva can't get on it. Although she'll probably go over to it and start having a scratch and a sniff. But, no, she definitely won't be getting on this. Well, she can sit on it with the baby, obviously, but she won't be using it as a bed. So, anyway, we've got a rush. See you soon. Okay guys, so we are at the kids um, sports day, Porsche came second in one of the races and they're just doing some more things over there, obviously we can't vlog it because we're not allowed to, this is other kids, so, but we're just sat down having some food out there and a nice little drink and we're going to wait for the kids to, I think they finish at like half two and then they get to go back to the classroom and then they get dismissed they're allowed to go home early so then you can go and get over and we can just head on so one of my friends is here well a couple of my friends are here actually so that's ideal because we can get some of the kids um carted home <laughs> as to say no i'm only joking they can get a lift so it's really good so, because we wasn't going to come today because there wouldn't have been enough room in the car so she's going to take one home and pick Mason up which would be really good so Dave's just been to the toilet to empty his bladder well I think he's gone to empty his bladder yeah. <laughs> unless he went for a number two but yeah anyway there's not really much else to say oh I'll give you an update on Aurora at the doctor's so the, we waited for an appointment because somebody had cancelled at like half eleven so the doctor got um, her in at that time. It, we ended up sitting there for like an, an extra hour because the doctor was behind. So anyway we waited and the doctor checked it. She was checking it for ages and we really thought it was it something serious didn't we? Because she was like proper having a good feel of it. Um, but she said that she's not like complaining of any pain when she's touching it or like pressing it or anything. So we're just going to review it again in two weeks and see where it is from there, whether it feels better. She kind of measured it with her fingers, so I'm gathering that when she goes back in two weeks, she'll um, 
check it again with fingers to make sure that you know the size hasn't like got any bigger or whether it's shrunk or whatever so i mean it's not overly big and sometimes it can just be natural because the skull can um one side can grow a little bit quicker than the other at times so maybe it could be that but anyway i'm gonna love you and leave you and we'll check back in with you no. wherever we end up next i'm not too sure probably home but it's cute eh? hi cute hi tell him that you touched the grass for the first time and you loved it yes you did didn't you do you want to show him? Do you want to show him? Yeah? Gorgeous girl. You're loving this fresh air, aren't you? Mm? You're loving this fresh air. Are you going to talk to everybody? Yeah, them binders that I make. Yeah. Are you going to say hiya to everybody? Say hiya. <laughs> Look, she's trying to sit up on her own now. So I'm just not old enough. Oh, she's a big girl. <laughs> oh! <gasps> oh! <coughs> Say aya. Say aya. Say aya. Aya. What's this? What's this? <gasps> what is it? What is it? That's a grass. <gasps> Where's a grass? Hi. <laughs> Who's this? Wanted a mattress to be Because you're tired. <laughs> you're tired just like that. <laughs> Guys, over at the office now. I've just finished doing it. two more printers. The One How i3 Mega. That's going to have to be. Um, I'm going to have to buy some parts for that. I'm not in a rush to fix it. Uh, I've got bigger things to do in the office. Um, it's it's gone absolutely haywire. If you can hear that in the background, I'm listening to something to wrestle with, with uh, Bruce Pritchard and uh, Conrad Thompson. Basically, go over like really old, old and present day wrestling events and stuff like that. It's um, it's not kayfabe. It's all like um, you know the, the shoot stuff and everything else. It's a really really good podcast. If you are into wrestling, you probably know what it is. If you're not. If you are interested and you don't know what it is, definitely go and check it out. It's the uh, something to wrestle with Bruce Pritchard. It's really good. But um, yeah, it's been a mental day today. This morning I got up um, and I was contacted by the landlord. The new landlord that's coming in here, he's coming in here. He told me that he was getting the keys tomorrow um, and he offered me the room next door. He offered it me at a price that I didn't think he was going to offer it me at for 12 months and then it gets bumped up by just just 20 pound after 12 months so uh, i've spoken to sarah and um i think i'm gonna go for it i'm definitely gonna go for it so he gets the keys tomorrow i think oh that's the um hypothetically he gets them tomorrow uh, hopefully he gets them tomorrow so if he gets them tomorrow the guy that used to be in there or the guy that is in there peter who's the old landlord Bear with me, it's confusing, I know. He has got like a week, he's going to give him a week to clear all his crap out of that room because the room in there is full of crap. The guy is a hoarder, a really bad hoarder. Um, there's three rooms, there's this room, there's a room over there and there's a room downstairs, it's just full of crap. Like old business books, files, um, files, more files, more files and even more files. Oh, and a few more files just for good measure. So he's gonna get a week to clear his stuff out and then I'm gonna to have to judge it where 
I'm gonna have to kind of ask him what furniture's gonna stay in there and what furniture's not gonna stay in there, so then I can gauge how I want it. I've kind of got a mental image of how I want it in there. I want a repair bay at the end so I can sit down, I can repair the printers when they go down instead of coming out here. I can just take them off. I've got a, I'll have a power lead over there that's already plugged in. Plug the printer in, fix it, get it back over, get it fixed. So it's you know minimum effort, maximum um, return. Then I also want the printers on either side. I've got two printers in there that aren't even unboxed yet. Two more Copymaster 300s. They need to come out and they need to go on the side so they can start printing. I need to get um, the rack, the orders racks done. Hopefully I'll be able to get the two racks in there and have the orders on there perfectly this time. Not like just thrown everywhere. And then obviously I'll need a storage shelf and a couple of other storage units for PLA and stuff like that. And then at the end of the room here I want a packing area so I can pack the stuff up and get it all together so I'll have the bubble wrap over there all the um, the wrapping stuff everything else and then in the other corner of the room I want to get like a really cheap you can get them on Amazon like these couches that so when the kids come the kids can just chill out and lie on the couch and just play the Nintendos and stuff like that and then obviously eventually next year I'll probably get like a small TV in there and put one of the PlayStation 4s in there that I, I'll just put my PlayStation 4 in there and the kids can play in it when they come over. But I'm really looking forward to it. It's a massive step for me, especially doing business just with me and Sarah. I haven't got any uh, responsibilities or ties because I'm not working with Daz anymore. So I haven't got the, uh, you know, the, the, the added, like, pressure of knowing that I've got to get it in there with him. I've got to do this, I've got to do that. He's got to be... It's, do you know what I mean? It's just like, it's 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 mine, it's my baby, and I can take it to the level I want to take it to, which I know I can take it to. Um, I don't know if anybody knows about the 501, uh, probably the, the most highly regarded Star Wars cosplay company. They're used by Lucasfilm, who own Star Wars and Disney, obviously, and basically what they do is, if they're having a premiere like a red park carpet premiere or uh, the launch of the video game, they will call the 501 in. Basically, the 501 guys are now have now taken some of my stuff. They're now going to try and get it passed through um, 501 clearance. So if it's cleared, then I can say that it's 501 approved. That massively increases the desirability and price of your item because people know that they're going to get it cleared once they've sprayed it up, they've painted it and everything else. So that is a major, major factor for me at the minute and one that I'm pushing for, I'm pushing for, I'm pushing for. And finally on top of my orders, my orders now are coming in, they're getting sorted out and they're going out. I can only begin to imagine what they can be like when I go in there, when I've got a proper packing system in here where I don't have to come out here. Everything is contained and done in there. I've also bought quickly, I'm on a bit of a rant now about the, the, the room, but you know what? Let, let's share it. Um, at the side of the door, I've bought a plaque. It's like an acrylic plaque with four um, like risers with the business name on it, Star Killer Props. That's going to go on the side of the door. Then, when I'm settled in there and I'm done, I'm going to get some window decals for the two big windows because I've got the two big windows outside. So there's a lot of throughput and uh, traffic that pulls up at the side there. Um, not a lot of people know what props are and, and some people might be passing and just think, well, there's a prop shop there. I'll give them a look on eBay. I'll give them a look on Facebook. I'll check the website out, you know. If you, if you don't push it, you don't know. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pack up quickly. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna uh, check in on Sarah, check in on Aurora, because Sarah's got Aurora upstairs at the minute because she's not been well. She had a really, really high temperature because of the injections that she's had today. Bless her. But she sat up and she's watching the telly. In fact, Sarah just messaged me a minute ago and sent me a picture of a bless her. And she was, um, she was doing what Aurora does the best. She was basically, just chilling out on the couch and um, and yeah, she was just, let me just try and focus it in on you. She was doing what she does best, watching Peppa Pig on the TV, bless her. So I'm gonna go, we'll check in with you when I get home and it's been an absolute scorcher. As you can see, I've got the window open. No, it's not a ghost this time. All right guys, it's the day after. I'm currently at the office. It's late in the evening actually, it's around 
half eight so literally just as this goes up this vlog I'll have just to finish this so you're literally seeing me the same time this vlog's updating which is confusing again I know but there's a lot going on this uh, studio and I'm moving into the other one in seven days roughly seven days on the 8th of um, of July I'll be moving in to the office so there's a lot to sort out there's a lot of I need to work out where everything's going to go and stuff like that and then I also need to try and get the orders done as well so uh, it's going to be a quick outro should have done one yesterday but I didn't but I promise I'll do one um, uh, today for tomorrow properly and we're at a barbecue tomorrow so I'm not really going to be here that much tomorrow if at all so do not forget to smash the like button and I will be getting this cut <sighs> I promise honestly do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you don't already. Make sure you click the notification bell, there's nothing. Make sure you leave us a comment and we will get back. And we will see you guys, we'll get back to you and we will see you guys tomorrow. Because we do this every single day.